Hello and welcome strategy game fans, it's Rob here from Exploring It, here with Songs of Conquest, a game that we interviewed the devs for quite a while ago, and now I'm actually able to play it, I'm really excited. It's basically a really fantastic homage to the Heroes of Might and Magic series, and it plays very similarly, but has the most amazing pixel art, and I, I really genuinely mean that, it's, it's superb. So let's go ahead and get started, I want to go ahead and play a campaign. And what I want to do is I actually want to play the campaign from the ashes, which is going to be a little bit different because it's the Rana and they're the frog people. It's pretty cool. This is like the the introductory campaign. I've already played it and I think it's fantastic, but I want to see I want to show you kind of just like the, the variety of, of units here. So we're going to play as the Rana here, which is really exciting. So I imagine there might be more campaigns coming. I'm not sure there's four factions in this game. So I hope that there's going to be two additional, like there's CIs, they call them songs. I love it. Songs play a, a, a great part, like a big part in this game. So you'll see as they start to, as we start to get through the campaign. So let's go ahead and start. And yeah, the little thing here, this is actually kind of, you imagine singing this. I'm not going to sing it <laughs> unless you want me to. Uh, let's actually, yeah, sorry. We I already played through this. First couple, so I, I clear, the, clearly the uh, the progress has been saved. So we'll come back to Life Returns of the Marsh. So we'll come because they actually will sing this. It's pretty fantastic. We'll start this mission. And like I said before, it's just it's a fantastic homage. And I'm going to go ahead and read this dialogue here. So Rask of Southcliffe Flats has been a slave of the Baryon since he was taken from the Marsh's youngling. Day after day, he and the other spa spawnlings toiled in the mines. He has accepted his fate and the fate of the Rana, for all it seemed hopeless. That was until today. Well, Frogling, today is your day. I, Captain Xavier Silkspool, have freed you and your fellows. Your chains are broken, and no longer will you work in the mines of House Rosewater. By my hand and my contract, freedom is yours. Freedom? Thank you. Freedom of Rana. Freedom of Rask. I am a friend to no one, but I have honor and a contract, and this contract would have me for you. Come, Frogling. Today we are allies, and I will see you safely away. But how can we leave? We can't make our own way across the desert and home to the marsh. I have used my talents as a wielder and activated this portal. Just step through, and it will take you far from here to your beloved swamp, and these weapons will have you help you evade recapture. The marsh provides. We owe our lives to you, Captain Silkspool. But with these weapons and your aid, we should free the other slaves in the mine. Too late. The alarm has been raised and Alia will come for you. Run home, little Rana. There is no profit in this world for you. Leading his mercenaries through this fire, the gallant wielder Captain Silkspool left Rask and his son's spawn mates to escape through the activated portal. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. Can you actually, I wonder... Can you race over there? No, you can't because uh, there's fire. So we'll just come over here. The energy of the activated portal pushed Rask and his small band of spawn mates through and they arrived in the outskirts of their beloved marsh. After quickly claiming a nearby lookout tower, Rask and his loyal friend Chikum gathered close. Rask, what should we do? We'll escape north. The old runner would say to keep Ravager's Peak on our way on our right by day and follow the Water Lily Star by night. Soon we will know true freedom. Slaves no more? Slaves no more. That's what he meant to say. Slaves no more. It's a statement. Alright, let's go and uh, let's get this game started. Alright, so as I said, we can zoom out. You can kind of take a look and see how just amazing this pixel art is. UI is also fantastic. It is just, I mean, I'm, I don't remember if there's another project these guys have done, but I feel like for their first major project, this just like eeks, like reeks of personality and and just polish. I just love it. So we're gonna go ahead and come over here. Up ahead, some Baryan merchants were forcing Rana into cages and preparing them for transport. One of the cage Rana spotted Rask and his fall, small band of refugees and cried out a warning. You there, get in line with the others and we'll be on the way to the mines of the Temptest, Temptest Dunes. Come on, hurry up and no one gets hurt. We aren't slaves. Captain Silkspool, friend of Rana, freed us. Silkspool? That's quite the story. Look, we know you're runaway slaves and we must be, and must be both hungry and lost. 
House Bellicus will welcome you with open arms. Come peacefully and we'll give you extra rations for a week. No, never again. Free the younglings from these transport cages and we'll be on our way. That fills, fool of Silk Spool has armed them. It'll be the Twelfth Moon Massacre all over again and no profits for us. Froglings, we have no quarrel with you. You are free to pass. Ras couldn't tear his eyes from the frightened younglings in the cages. His heart beat loudly in his ears. His body grew hot with, ra hot with rage. Suddenly, he heard a voice within inside his head. Awaken! Rask felt the pain and rage flow to him from his bondmates. He felt essence. We aren't leaving without the younglings. Free them now. You dare challenge us, Swamp Spawn? Be thankful we don't clasp iron your tiny wrists. We'll never wear iron again, Rana. Rana! Death to the slavers! Free the younglings! Alright, so we can move our people around. We're gonna, or like our units here. So we're going to go ahead and move them to a bit of a position that's going to work. That position up top is going to work for us, right? So what we want to do is actually just kind of bring these guys over. And we'll let them stay. And then we're going to move him over here too. We're going to take advantage of the high ground. Let them come to us. So come on over. Come on over and we're going to take you out. Oh, you know what we could do? We could walk over here. Oh, no, we can't. Looks like we got stuck. Bad call. My bad. All right, we'll leave this guy here then. All right, there we go. So we're going to let you take him out, and we're going to use you to use the height advantage there because these guys are pretty strong. Lovely little death animations, right? I love it. The pixel art is so amazing. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm in awe of how well they've done here. Because, like, you got the pixel art, and then you have this, like, very good, like, very clean UI. It just, it really comes together in a very, very, very polished package. I just love it. Rask and his spawn mates released a chained up Rana, who quickly joined his ranks. Rask, what happened? We could all feel your power and rage pour into our bodies and strengthen us. We could see you wield magic. Something within me snapped and broke, like the chains around our necks. Perhaps I am a wielder. Maybe I will, always was. The marsh adapts. I've never heard of a Rana wielder, Rana wielder in our, our time, Rask. What should we do now? We must free as many Rana as we can and escape into the marsh. All right, so we're going to mass move them, which means they're just going to all kind of populate our, our already existing troops. We're going to take the 15 hunters here. And that way we can bolster our unit here. All right, so we've got two movement now. We grab some gold. We're gonna take a look at this. Rask and Chikum join the other escaped slaves to fill their water skins from the pond and drink their fill. Chikum, what is it? I had forgotten what the march smells like. In the mines, I would dream about home, imagining my village and the pond where I spawned. But every year, I'd lose a little more of that memory. We'll never go back to the mines, my friend. Never, never. We'll run and run to the deep marsh where the Barians will never find us. All right, we'll come over here. Maybe not. We'll go go ahead and hit the uh, term. So these guys are a little too strong for me right now. I know that because I've played it. Which way should we go, Rask? I'm not sure. The trail keeps taking us south and away from the Ravager's Peak. And there's troubles ahead. Can you hear it? I can hear the yips of the Dreth. And I, if I remember quickly, correctly, that is the call of the Ravager. We can't turn back. We must find our courage and face the beast. Well, if I die today, at least I have seen the marsh once more and fought alongside a Rana Wheeler. We're stronger together, Chikum. Nothing will keep us from our home. All right, let's go over here. We're going to take this. It's going to give us plus one creation. I'm not sure what creation is, to be honest. I think it's magic. I think so. All right, we're going to go through this. You know, I'll let you read this if you want. But basically, like, wielders are... They gain skills. They gain spells. It's pretty awesome. It's very much like old school. And you can also gain equipment, too. And you know, make their which makes their army stronger and, and return. So, yeah, great stuff. Love it. All right, and we're either going to come here to the Dreths, which are basically like wolves, or we're going to come over here to the Ravagers, which we're going to actually do. So, huge bird like beasts with piercing beaks and sharp talons. talons Ravagers fill the clearing. Oh my god. I cannot I cannot read. I'm not feeling well, so I'm sorry in advance. 
These were the most feared creatures of the marsh, and they stood between Rask's band of ref refugees and the safety of the marsh. Rask, I don't want to be food for the ravagers. Don't be afraid, Chikum. If we don't defeat these beasts and they eat us, at least they are the marsh, and they won't die. We won't die as slaves in the mine of far-off Baria. We'll die free. Life returns to the marsh. Life returns to the marsh. All right, so we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna actually drop them right there. And this time we're actually going to let the birds come to us. There we go. All right, so with that, we're going to go ahead and move them into position. There we go. All right, so we've gained momentum, which is basically once you kill things, you start to gain a, a bonus to your attack. We've lost one unit, which is fine because there was only eight of them, but... That is one whole unit we've lost. So, all right, victory. Some of the Ravagers were killed, some ran off, but a few retreated and Rask ordered his troops back. There was something about these creatures that resonated with him. He slowly approached the lead Ravager. Rask, what are you doing? These are creatures of the marsh, same as us. Something within them calls out to me. This is madness, they will kill you. No, they will join me. To the amazement of his followers, Rask reached out his hand, palm up, towards the Ravagers, as he'd seen the Baryans do with horses. The biggest one bent her neck towards Rask, and he swiftly climbed on top, mounting the Ravagers a rider. Boom. The essence is the same as ours. We are all creatures of the marsh. We can tame them, protect them, and they will do the same for us. I can feel them. Rask, in the legends of the old, the Rana rode Ravagers to war. There is another legend my granny would tell us, something about the rider has come. Save Granny Sawtooth's tales until later. We should hurry and ride deeper into the marsh. The Baryans will be in pursuit. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. All right, so we can now gain a level. So we can take on melee, which is going to increase our melee offense for our troops. We can um, increase our initiative, or we can unlock the ability to bring four troops with us in the battle. I'm going to take the melee uh, offense just because we don't have many right now. And, you know, we don't need to add an additional slot just yet, though that will be important. Oh, we're sure. Some Rana families have built farms here, hoping the trade of gifts and food would keep them free of the slaver shackles. We saw you, we see you, riding a Ravager. The legends speak of the day like this. I don't know our legends. I've been in the Burian Mine since I was very young. I'm Rask, spawned in South Creek Flats. Rask the first rider, we shall follow you. Our farms are yours, and we will fight if you can arm us. All Rana are welcome, but we must hurry east. I've heard tales of Bari's vengeance, and we can't defeat them yet. Yeah, so now we've got a great little ranged unit. So we can come over, we'll see. Come over here, the shamans here. Yeah, they're very great. So their ranged offense is 12, their melee offense is 28, but they also poison, which is fantastic. I don't see that. I don't see that as like, maybe like a... Maybe that's where the green is? No. Yeah, no, it doesn't say that it does that, but it does. They do poison, so it's pretty awesome. Alright, so we claim that. We're going to go ahead and take these. And we're going to take all these. There we go. Very good. Okay, so now that we've got all this. Oh, let's, did I already take this? No, I did not. We're going to go ahead and take these nine hunters. And we're going to keep walking. Keep going. Keep going. And what we'll do is we're actually going to come up through here. We'll take out these, the Baryan guards here. A small company of Baryan mercenaries stood guard at the border pass. Let us pass, Baryan. We refuse to be the marsh. Or so we return to the marsh. <laughs> Run along, little Rana. Little Rana, and live. Our contract only states that we should guard this passage. It does not stipulate that we need to pursue anyone who flees before us. Right, well, we don't really... We ain't fleeing. Alright, so they're there. Maybe I should do... We'll do this. To line up with that one. We're going to double team over here. Alright. You know... Oh, man, I don't want to move too close because... I don't want to take, get taken out by these guys, but I also don't want to just stand by and let these 
gun wielders uh, hit us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to come down here and attack this one. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, it poisoned them. Wow, you just took out our averagers. Thanks. Thanks a whole bunch. We're going to take you out. And we're going to hurt you bad. can't believe they already took out my Ravager. Oh, I forgot to use spells. I should be using spells. That's my 100% my bad. It's funny because I, I would use spells when I'm playing by myself. But I, you know, you get, get on camera and you just freeze up. All right. We can come over here and take out wolves. And we'll gain some riches. We'll do that, actually, just because I want to show you. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do that. All right, we'll go ahead and set this one up high. And you can come over here to block, actually. So we'll swap them. All right. They move fast. They have high initiative. Get them. All right, so we will attack this top one here. And you are you. Let's see. Let's take this one out. Oh, man. They're going to have to take out my, my shamans. So now we've got earth block, which is going to create a barrier, which isn't going to help us right now because they're already on us. And it doesn't matter because we killed them. My opportunity to use magic is probably gone. There's a couple more battles, so hopefully we'll show you. All right, I've reached level three. I can add offense or I can start to look, sorry, I can look at some melee resistance as well. I can add melee offense, ranged offense and defense, which is going to just apply for two rounds. It's a skill or I can upgrade command, which is going to be pretty important soon. So I might do that now. And the next time we'll come back and we'll do some maybe additional offense. All right, so great. Now we've gained the dagger. So this is what it does. It adds plus one to our offense. So now we've gained some levels. We also have plus one troop movement to Ravagers, Riders of the Swamp. We've gained plus 26 melee offense and plus six ranged melee offense, or ranged offense. Ranged melee offense, that's what it is. All right, we're gonna come back down here and grab some more shamans. All right, let's go ahead and grab those. And then we can come down here to grab the treasures here, which is probably a good idea because we can gain some more troops. But we do have to start getting on our way for sure. And you'll see why soon. All right, let's come down here and take these guys out. Strange wind creatures fearing, wearing fearsome masks guarded the clearing. Rask had never seen anything like these before and took a defensive stance as the creatures swarmed towards him. Nasty frogs, no dragons, no frogs. What are you? You're not of the marsh, but you're not Baryon either. We're not you, we fey, yes, yes, wait fey, yali 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 fey. Ethel yali fey. We should fight them, Rask. <laughs> should we fight them, Rask? I don't know what he just said. Uh, as you could probably tell, I don't, I'm not 100%. My throat's killing me. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a high posture here. That's good. We took them out. Wow, they took 18 of my guys out. Lord. Wow, I just lost most of my warriors. So I'm going to lose all of my... Wow, just like that, huh? Wow, that was almost a loss for me. So uh, that was not good at all. Oh, man. I lost 45. 45 hunters. All for what? This better be good. Oh, 3,300 gold is a lot of gold. So, all right. Maybe I can grab some of that too. Take some gold. And we'll see what's over here. Ah, oh, I've reached level four. That's great. All right. So, let's take 
the melee offense. Let's go grab some more of these, and then we need to start going. We need to start going. All right, let's get more shaman. And then we'll have to head up this way. And it's like 13 hunters because we desperately need more. I wonder if I want them at 25. I've never actually picked this up. Let's go ahead and try to pick it up. Let's come up here first. A small settlement of Rana have been able to survive here on the fringes of the marsh. As Raskin and his band approached, an old hunter came out to greet them. Are you the one causing all the ruckus? We have managed to make a peaceful life here. They took your broodlings as slaves. What kind of life is that? A bad one, but still a life. The marsh adapts. It is time for Rana to live in the marsh without fear. The marsh provides. The marsh provides a Rana wielder, just like the legends. A wielder? I never believed I'd meet a Rana wielder, and never did bef before I dared dream of a life without fear. Re Red Reed Flats will support you and follow you. The marsh gives life. All right, so let's... I can't take anything? Why can't I take that? Okay, can I not take anything here? I need stuff. Give me stuff. Okay, can I not click on anything? Nope, I can't. I can't take anything from the city. Right, let's see if we can try to take this guy out. I hope it works out for me. It may not. It may not. Depends on how many Ravagers there are. Alright, so we'll come over here and take this high ground here. In that guy's turn. Looks like I'm going to be... Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's see if we can do something here. Alright, we're going to take this insect swarm. Alright, so the insect swarm saved my life there. Possibly. I don't know. The shamans are very powerful, as you can see. Alright, we'll confirm that. You ravagers were still standing after the battle, and Rask approached them without, out, with outstretched hands and palms up. He sued them and led them back to his troops. So we'll take them. And come over here and take some of these. Yeah, so there we go. We can see what this is. Swamp Spear. That's definitely better than the other one. So, pretty sure we're about to figure out why it is I'm trying to get far away really soon here. So, plus two creation. I think that's what's going on, is that you basically need creation in order to, to, to cast spells. So, alright, let's see... What we can do here. I really need more units. Wonder why this won't let me take units. What was that? Brask, the Rana Drum is warm of danger. A large force of brains have entered the marsh. We must lead the runner into Deep Marsh. We are not ready for a whole battalion of Baryons. We'll follow you, First Rider. So that's what I was talking about. So we have to get away. But we also need to get some units. So we need to come over here and grab some units. Because over here, in just a second, we're going to see a group. It's probably now. Yep. There they are. So, let's see what we can do to fill our coffers here with a bunch of units. And then we need to gain. Let's see. We really need some hunters. 
We can't go all the way back up to gain them here. I thought we're, we're, there were some over here. We could try to take them from here. We're going to have to do it quickly and run. So that's what we'll do. What have we here? More run out for target practice? Run back to your bog. Our trade is done for the day. Leave our marsh now, Burian, or we'll feed your body to the bog. I think we mean it. I think we mean it. All right. I think we mean it. All right, let's get these to this group here quickly. And we'll jump over here. And then we're going to go ahead and end this turn for you. And hopefully hit him. Yep, there we go. That's good. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Seriously? That's painful. Okay, that was a little bit more painful than I expected. Actually, it was a lot more painful than I expected. Fool, what have you done? I freed you from the Baryon Oppressors. The Ron are no, our slaves no more. Come with us into the marsh. We have no choice. They will send a mighty wielder after us. And the humans always win. Our days are numbered. Life returns to the marsh. We always have a choice. And now we have a Ron a wielder like the religions. Rascal lead us to safety. Sorry. It was the wrong voice. Whatever. Let's get through this. <laughs> My bad, guys. All right. So we'll come over here. Grab this. We're going to take as many of these as we can. And... Now we're going to jump down here, race down here, really. Can't really jump. Wish I could jump before that group gets here. Because once it does, I won't be able to win. And they are close, too. All right, let's come up. All right. Move, move, move. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's so close. Oh. All right, let's grab this here. And then let's see if we can grab this. Nope, we can't yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to be powerful enough to take these guys out. All right, plus one damage. We're going to try. I'm going to have to try because I'm almost... I'm almost there. A large company of Baryan mercenaries led by a huge Harima warrior stood Harima warrior stood guarded up at the only way into the deeper marsh. That's quite the following you have there, Swamp Spun. Haven't you heard the stories of what we do when you gather like this? I've heard those stories all my life, but this is a new story. Ha! The mouth of this one will put you back in your place like all the others. Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to use my magic the best I can here and hope that, that brings me to, to victory because otherwise I'm screwed. I really am. Thankfully, there's not many of these guys, but there's eight of these guys. Oh, my God. Lord. Lordy. All right. We'll see what we've got. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we're going to do something to alleviate that a little bit. Okay, I could go ahead and kill them immediately. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to kill all these guys. Yep, okay, good. Might be able to. Oh, shoo, we're gonna be able to finish these guys. Thank you. All right, what do we got here? Destroy essence. Explosive fungi. That's awesome. It deals 30 damage when stepped on. That would have been cool, but we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. And then we're going to progress with this campaign here. And then I want you to see this crazy awesome cutscene. And then we're gonna move on. Rask led the Rana, old and young, deeper into the embrace of the marsh. He was leading them home to the South Creek Flats. 
All right, and I believe the cutscene comes. so great i just love it so much but i hopefully you can hear it i know my volume is down quite a bit but hey we'll come back for episode two where we continue our mission and we continue to see what's going on with the rana and hopefully my voice and my head don't hurt as bad by then until then thanks for watching this is rob from explominates check back later for more songs of conquest keep exploring guys